I can't think of many better places to stop pregame than a little DQ action. Get me a little blizzard before I head to Mesquite Memorial Stadium. I think that'll work out pretty dang good. On our way to Mesquite. How you oh. feeling? another wonderful Thursday. Well, how are you feeling? There's a guy in like a carpet cleaning van and a cowboy hat right next to us. He was looking at us a little funky for doing this. Well, he doesn't understand what the kids want. The kids want the vlogs. <laughs> the vlog. All right, I just pulled into Mesquite Memorial Stadium for our Thursday night game. Longview versus West Mesquite. And there's the Mesquite Radio Tower. One of the most iconic views in all of Texas high school football here in the south end zone. There you go. One of my favorite stadiums in the Metroplex as well. Should be a good one in District 75A Division 1, the district opener. Got the West Mesquite Wranglers going through pregame. Got the Longview Lobos prepping for pregame. The West Mesquite managers, this is their pregame routine right here. Trying to catch the football. Mesquite ISD coming through once again with a little pot roast, green beans and mashed potatoes, and of course, a Dr. Pepper to drink. A pretty solid press box meal. Man, joining us in the press box, Ashley Pickle and Greg Tepper. Wow, a celebrity. A celebrity. How are you guys enjoying the hospitality of Mesquite Memorial Stadium? The food was fantastic. Now we're enjoying very good football game. West Mesquite's got some stomach for the fight. And I'm in a best box. I feel like I'm going to have some Are you jamming? We got Longview, man. Big Green March Machine knows what's up. That's a good band. I can promise you there is not a view like this in Texas high school football anywhere. The Mesquite Radio Tower. All right, we're here with some of the guys from 24-7, Colin Kennedy and Andrew Hattersley. And there's our buddy Guy Frazier. Look at those thighs right there, looking fresh. Thigh Frazier in the house. Colin, what are your thoughts on Guy's uh, fashion and fashion choices? This group does not skip leg day, let me tell you. There you go. It's a whole lot. We got side breaks. We got dad caps. Dad caps TM. Yeah. Man. There you go. There you go. Yeah. There you go. No, no one, no one can top pickles cannons though, right? Hi, we're here with noted Valley Sports superstar Ashley Pickle. Uh, Pickle, how many times were you recognized tonight? None. They all saw Greg Tepper and went running. Tepper, is that true? The look. Alright y'all, it is Friday morning and I am at DFW Airport getting ready to head out to Corpus Christi for tonight's game between Sinton and West Oso. Reports are that one Ashley Pickle is also somewhere on the grounds of DFW Airport and she's headed to San Antonio. So the DCTF crew is hitting the road or well, actually hitting the skies this morning as we cover Texas high school football. last night now to the airport we go headed down to El Campo and Bernie Champion gonna fly into San Antonio so off we go the football weekend continues in case you can't tell I'm definitely a window seat guy Corpus Christi here I come all right I've arrived in Corpus and shout out Ashley Pickle and shout out palm trees there is no bigger fan of the palm tree than our own Duchess of the Dorks, Ashley Pickle. What's up, 361? Well, Coastal Step is in the house. What's up, Corpus Christi? Well, you can't visit Corpus without visiting the Selena statue. One of the Corpus Christi icons. Time for a little lunch in Corpus, and we're gonna go with some 
Hagemeyer barbecue. I know it's spelled Hogemeyer, but I believe it's pronounced Hagemeyer. So we're gonna get some barbecue for lunch and then see what the rest of the day has in store. So we got us a three meat plate here with jalapeno sausage, brisket, and then there's some ribs under there. Pinto beans and green beans as the side, cause you know, gotta be a, the green beans gotta be a little healthy, right? And uh, onions, pickles, and jalapeno, and of course, a sweet tea to drink. Let's do this. All right, we made it to 1 0. Um, rental car guy thought it was great to make like 700 pickle jokes, so it took a minute to get in the rental car, but now that we're here, it's taco pee time, baby. Y'all already know where the first stop was. Taco pee, baby. All right, y'all, it's Friday night, week five, and I am in the 361 Corpus Christi. And I'm headed just a little bit north of town, about 30 miles or so, to Sinton, Texas, in San Patricio County, as the Pirates, who have been in the state rankings and are right there on the cusp of being ranked once again in 4A Division II, open up District 16 4A Division II play against the West Oso Bears of Corpus Christi. Uh, we'll see what happens tonight. Sentence a big favorite, so I want to get eyes on the Pirates. We think they they got a shot to do some damage in Region 4. And I'm about to eat pizza at Updog Pizza in Odom, Texas, a very unique pizza place that we'll probably talk more about when I get there. I'll be having uh, a little pregame meal with our buddies from South Texas Football Unlimited, uh, a, group, a group of guys who are high school football fans down here who started up their own uh, Coastal Bend-centered podcast. So should be a fun uh, evening of football and food. So... Stay with me. All right, we're here at Updog Pizza in Odom. As you can see, this is an Odom themed menu right here. Lots of Odom legends. One of Tepper's favorite players, Michael Everett there. Got us a little pizza here from Updog Pizza in Odom, Texas, home of the Owls. Got a little pepperoni. What's what's this one called? What's this one? The the exception. The exception. exception. There you go. Looks it looks amazing. Named after you are the director Andrew Martinez. <laughs> How cool is this? We see you, Bernie. Out here just did the whip around. There's Marcus. Alright, we're here in Sinton. What a nice facility they have here in Sinton, Texas. As the pirates are getting ready to open up district play against the West Oso Bears. <laughs> We are here in Sinton, Texas, where the Pirates are getting ready to take on West Oso. We got a little tailgate going on pregame. Got the guys. Uh, I guess uh, who are we picking to win the game tonight? There, there you go. All right. We got a good setup here. This is this is an elite setup. See, when you visit the tailgate and talk to the tailgate folks, you get a brisket popper. What's up, Sinton? That is quite the run through for the Sinton Pirates. Pretty cool. High school student council. Somebody from West Oso. This, that's an elite horse head. The Chargers had it blows smoke out of it, so it's uh, good on you, Bernie Champion. Got us a beautiful sunset in South Texas tonight. We're here in the Bally Sports Southwest studios here with uh, a wonderful Aaron Hardigan. Aaron, are you having... Yes. Um, okay, hi. 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 Cue the sad TikTok music. They're out of tacos in the same concession stand. Pickle, make it happen. Got me a little post-game meal to go from the back of the hotel with some South Side tacos. Got a little chicken with pico de gallo and a little carne asada. Got some rice and beans and some salsa there. So that is post-game meal in Corpus Christi. Alright, it's about 5.30 in the morning on Saturday. San Antonio Airport headed back to the DFW. Let's go. Oh yeah. You know I'm not going 
into a town that has a taco P and not hitting it up. I'm in my bag, y'all. All right, we just arrived here at Buck Stadium in Corpus Christi for the top 10 matchup between La Vega and Corpus Christi Miller. Let's go. All right, so we're about 20 minutes out from kickoff here in Corpus Christi as the Corpus Christi Miller Bucks will take on the La Vega Pirates in a top 10 matchup in 4A Division One. It's a warm day in Corpus, not as hot as it probably could be, but it is warm, and so you gotta think the heat will play a role in this game as the conditioning and all that good stuff will definitely play a factor. Should be a fun game. We'll try to have a few highlights for the video blog. Let's go. Hit! Hit! <laughs> Coming right at you. You know what makes fajitas even better? Bacon. Bacon makes fajitas better. All right, fueling up before I head to the airport. Got a little omelet with some potatoes and some homemade biscuits. And a pancake, a little pico de gallo, and of course, caffeine. Bam. Corpus, what's up? Well, Corpus Christi, it's been a fun weekend. Uh, got a lot of lot done, ate a lot of great food, and uh, ran into a lot of great people. So uh, until next time, Corpus, we will see you, and uh, you guys keep being awesome. Hey, thanks for watching this clip here on YouTube. If you like this kind of stuff and you want more of it, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, you can watch us live every weekday at noon at texasfootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, or here on YouTube. And if you want more of the best coverage of football in the state of Texas, check out texasfootball.com and become a Dave Campbell's Texas Football Insider at texasfootball.com slash subscribe.